Hi, my replacement inverter came in today. As you can see, here's the lid. Now, I've already got it hooked up. I had it trying to work on, you know, to test this. It did not work at all. So I took it apart to see if maybe the fuses were blown or something. They did send extra fuses. Now, what I discovered was something that really upsets me. They were supposed to have checked this. They sent me a link to view them checking this inverter. Now, I do understand it came from FedEx from China. This came clear from China. I understand that. Now, as soon as I hooked it up, it would not even touch my microwave. The light would not light up. The cord here did not light up. Now, I'm going to show you what I found inside. Now, I have a cup of cold water. Now, just like any other inverter, I will test this. This is the replacement. I'm going to tell you and show you what they did, or should I say did not do. Now, as you can see, when I first turned this on, this did not light up at all. Nothing. It showed 13.7, 13.8 volts, but it did not light up. Now, when I took it apart to see if maybe there was a fuse blown, no. This red wire was 100% completely unplugged. The hot power wire right here was unplugged. Now, it's going to start raining, so i got to get this done pretty quickly. I'm just going to test this on a fast test. Now, I am using their cables. Now, of course, I did cut them back because the insulation, or should I say uh, heat shrink, was definitely going under the knobs. So, this is just going to be a fast, fast um, test on this. My batteries have plenty of power. Now let's go check the inverter. That is a 700 watt microwave. It pulls 1150 watts. Now that should be reading 120. Uh, 119 at the least and there's no way my batteries went from 13.7 13.6 to 11.2 just by turning that microwave on so it is working the microwave is not humming or buzzing so this is the replacement inverter they sent me the problem is the red cable was unplugged so when I first tried this, the only thing that lit up was my battery monitor here. This shows how much batteries uh, power you have. The bottom wouldn't light up at all. Neither plugs would work because it was unhooked. And once again, I am using their cables. So they did send me a replacement. Now it does work. But I shouldn't have had to tear it tore into this thing. Um, unlike the other inverter, just took a couple of screws to get out. Um, two on the front, two on the back. This has eight, seven, eight, eight. Four on the top, two on each side. So it takes eight. Now, once again, my batteries are fully charged at 13.6, 13.7 volts. So, you know, it should have no issue with this. Now, I understand it is really dingy out. My solar not working very well. Get midnight in here. It is showing actually a much lower voltage. Um, 116 volts. Now, it's possible my microwave uh, is uh, 115, 115 volt instead of 120. That's possible. If that's the case, this seems to be working perfectly. But I was so upset when this came in because it was not working. Now, this has MOSFETs. I want you to see something. This has MOSFETs on this side. You see the, the bar to distribute heat? That's what it needs to do. On this side, there's MOSFETs. 
aluminum for distributing heat. That's what it needs to do. You need to have some way to get rid of the heat away from the MOSFETs instead of just little pieces of metal like this. That helps get rid of the heat. The other inverter did not have this. Now it's at uh, 122. Okay, most likely the microwave shut off. Yes, it did. Now you can see the little bubbles in there. And the cup is definitely hot. The water was definitely hot. Okay, so this does work. It's good. I was really upset when nothing worked. Um, so if you get an inverter in, things don't work right out of the box. Alright, first thing you do is, let's turn this off. Uh, and I will have to drain this before I unhook it. Um, first thing you do is take your cover off. Check your fuses here. This has four fuses. They're back here. To here, to here. Check your cable connections. Make sure they're tight, not unhooked. This was absolutely just unhooked and laying in here. So that's why the display here wasn't working. The plugs weren't working. Um, on the other inverter, if you couldn't tell, there is a diode like this. Let me see if I can get that blue one right there. That looks blown on the other inverter. Also, the fuses are melting on the other inverter. And one of the wires, which would be the wire here, was looked like kinked between the lid and the bottom part. This is built much better. It's not so compact, not so tight. There's really not much around where the lid goes down, so nothing can really kink. Um, like I said, I am using their cables. The cables are warm, but for an inverter like this, I already made a brand new set of cables for the other one. They will go on this one. Now, this is supposed to be a 12 volt, 1500 watt. Now, to run something like this, I would go no higher than anywhere from 11 to 1300 watts. If you're pushing 1500 watts, you're probably pushing the complete limits of this, of how this is made. So, once again, I keep it around between 11 and 13. 1350 may be possible, but I would not try to run an entire 1500 watts on this inverter. It seems to be pure sine wave. It's supposed to be. The microwave was not buzzing or humming or anything like that. So, you know, it seems to be working. I will uh, probably test this again sometime later. I'll let you know how it's been going with this. But they did send a replacement. And immediately I did have to tear it apart. Um Let's see what we got here. That looks like some type of glue here. Yeah, there's a bunch of glue on there. But also this does have a ground right here. This will go to ground. It is right there. So you can hook a ground up to this inverter or run it to ground. A ground wire. Which is always good to have if you need something grounded. All right, that's it. I'm fixing to go. Everyone have a good day or night, wherever you're at. Bye.